This is Coral. She fell in love with Elias. We are judged because he is trans and I have a beard. Coral has struggled with her facial hair from a young age. I first started getting facial hair when I was nine years old. It made me feel like a monster. When the couple go out in public, they are often met with negative reactions, which has made them retreat from the outside world. We do tend to stay inside more. But unfortunately, the prejudice follows them online too. What are you? This is disgusting. Oh my God, this is what the devil looks like. We met on a dating website called OkCupid. Okay I was getting ready to delete it and I went on to go check my messages one last time and I saw that Elias had messaged me. So I have the perfect timing. <laughs> We've been together for a little over four years now. When I met Elias, I was still shaving every day. I was working in a corporate office, so I was the business lady. <laughs> and at that time, I felt like I couldn't be a business lady with a beard. I think I was dabbling a little bit two years into our relationship. I would start going like a couple days without shaving, but it was really when we became homeless. I was trying to dry a shave in the car in the morning before we went into Walmart to go to the bathroom. Once we got back to Washington and moved in with my family, I was so tired of shaving it and I just stopped. <laughs> I actually first started getting facial hair when I was nine years old. It started out as very thick sideburns. By the time I was 12, it was a full-blown beard. Honestly, it made me feel like a monster. I really thought that I was cursed for the longest time. I get a lot of comments about Shrek, which is kind of funny because I tell people that Fiona was my first representation. Honestly, as the first woman I ever saw in media shaving her face. I was diagnosed with PCOS when I turned 16. PCOS is a condition that causes cysts on your ovaries, excessive hair growth, um, it causes insulin issues. It was very difficult growing up with PCOS. A lot of the times I was bedridden for days. The pain of having cysts on your ovaries, they hurt. Shaving my face alone was the worst part of it. I didn't have like shaving cream or like fancy razors. I literally was using makeup to cover up the blood every day. I didn't realize that I had other family members who were growing facial hair as well because they were, like me, wanting to hide it. All right, can you hear me? I can't hear you, can you? Oh, I didn't say anything, oh, can you hear me now? <laughs> what do you think about me growing out my facial hair? When you first started growing it out, I was kind of like surprised at your appearance, I guess. But now that just seems a part of you. And I think if you shaved it, I would be like, wait, what's happening to Coral? <laughs> I'm just proud of how, you know, strong you are. And because the trailblazers <laughs> like you, maybe women won't feel like they have to hide or be ashamed. I think that's one of the biggest things I like to tell people is it's literally one in 14 women. And most people know somebody who does grow facial hair. Yeah. Won't be a big deal in another generation. Thank you, Mom. All right, you're welcome. Love you. All right, I love you too. Now I really love my beard. I can't lie. I feel like I would be naked without it. Elias has been very supportive with me growing out my facial hair. He was the first one to let me know, hey, uh, if you're not enjoying this, you could not do it. Watching so. someone you love suffer like that and cause themselves pain like every single day, just to feel like they're allowed to leave the house or like they won't upset anybody is just painful. Honestly, I just feel really proud. It's hard to be authentic in today's world. About a year into our relationship, I came out. I had been around trans people for a long time, but had never considered that it was an option for me just because of how I grew up and stuff. That's really fair. Being in a relationship with Coral, like how accepting she is, allowed me to become more of myself. What judgment did we face when we first started our relationship? Some judgment about being us being in a gay relationship, for yeah. sure. The most comments we usually get are at the grocery store. Yeah. We do tend to stay inside more. People stare, people 
gasp, people whisper, mutter. Yeah, they really like to point out my beard, ask what is that, which is why I've kind of stepped back from doing all of that. Yeah. I've let Elias sort of I take over. I did grocery shopping. In the past, I got angry. Why get mad at someone for the way that they look? But watching her go through it and how she deals with things, the amount of peace that over time she's built up has helped me like let go of a lot of that anger. I have a group of fellow bearded ladies that is on Facebook and a lot of them do not even grow their hair out because they are still scared. People are very angry. I do get death threats, especially here in the United States with the trans debate that is happening right now. Bearded women get roped in with trans women a lot, which personally I am perfectly okay with because I would rather be a avenue for my trans sisters to be able to accept themselves. I get a lot of comments though like, what are you, this is disgusting, I should shave, that I need to grow a mustache. <laughs> oh my God, this is what the devil looks like. People like to tell me that I am demonic and tell me to find Jesus in the same sentence. I have had lives where I've had people reach out to me and tell me I had to get off of your live because it was too much, the comments hurt. And that sucks because everything that I'm working towards is so that way other women don't have to feel like they need to hide. Today we are gonna meet with our roommates to talk about how they feel about our relationship. I think it'll be interesting to ask them what they think about my beard, what they thought about me growing it out. Hey. What's up? Hey. <laughs> what was your concerns when I started growing out my beard? I felt like you looked more like you than you ever had. I feel that. And my only concerns were really how other people were gonna treat you, which yeah. is... I mean, valid. Valid, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Like, people are mean. After more than a year that you've been growing your beard, I was like, you're just you. You did say that, like, you were like, it's mm -hmm. the same person. Yeah, I was I, like, there's. <laughs> you look different. I think you like your hair separate. She's like, what? It's like, no, Maria. I'm like, no, I don't see nothing. Yeah. Some blueberry muffins. Yeah. People that judge our relationship, I would tell them, just go be happy and live your own life, man. Stop wasting your time. <laughs> life is too short to be wasting your time thinking about me. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs>